Here in Arizona, the freeway photo radar cameras were brought down, but the red light cameras remain in some cities. In fact, there's a push in some cities in the valley to add even more cameras at more intersections. Supporters say they save lives and prevent accidents. But could they also be causing accidents? It depends on what data you believe. A federal study showed that while the cameras prevented T-bone accidents where cars collide in the middle of the intersection, these cameras may have actually caused a spike in rear-end accidents. A car hitting the brakes to avoid getting a ticket, causing those behind to rear-end them. And some argue that these red light cameras don't improve safety at all. Take the city of Los Angeles, population about three times the size of Phoenix. It's considering getting rid of these cameras, while Phoenix is considering adding even more. Here tonight with us, the Phoenix official pushing for more of the cameras, Kerry Wilcoxon of the Transportation Department. Thanks, Kerry, for joining us tonight. You're welcome. Um, last year, voters in Houston said no. They voted these cameras down. L.A., as you know, they're about to pull the plug. Nine states have said no red light cameras. We don't want them. Why is Phoenix talking about adding more cameras? Well, first and foremost, we're interested in saving lives. We know from our own data that the cameras that are up are preventing the most serious types of crashes that uh, occur at intersections. They're preventing the uh, angle crashes that account for 25% of the injuries and uh, about a third of the deaths each year in traffic crashes. If that's the case, Kerry, why, uh, if we were talking strictly about saving lives, why is it that the 12 cameras in Phoenix only one of them is at a high accident location, 15th Avenue in Missouri. Uh, well, most of them were put up when we originally were looking for locations. Most of them were put up at, lo at uh, areas that had the high, high run red crash locations or high run red crash incidences. In fact, my section um, looked throughout the city, the data that we had on intersections that had the most uh, run red crashes. And that went into the selection of the 12 locations that we have now. Who has the final say on this? Can you independently, arbitrarily decide to put up more cameras, or does the council eventually have to say yay or nay to this? I think the council will have to say yay or nay. I, I can't certainly um, uh, put up more cameras on my behalf. I can tell the police and the courts where cameras are, would be most likely to do good. And... Um, make a recommendation, but uh, I don't have the ability to put them up myself. Kerry, the idea that this is about revenue, that is the big question mark. And we find uh, even the L.A. Times investigating this in 2008 found that the majority of money made from these red light cameras wasn't from people breaching the intersection, you know, in a, in a collision kind of mode, but a rolling right turn, which seems kind of benign to a lot of people. Sure, sure. Yeah, Phoenix doesn't, uh, doesn't ticket people for rolling rights, as you said. And in fact, all of the citations that are issued uh, from uh, Phoenix red light cameras uh, have to be reviewed first by a uniformed officer prior to a ticket being issued. Um, so there is some human judgment involved. But the city itself doesn't use red light cameras as a way to generate revenue. In fact, up until recently, the, uh, the program was a net money loser. Um, the reason that we have red light cameras is to save lives. Oh, one more thing. Um, I've heard from some traffic engineers that if you really want to do, uh, prevent accidents and intersections, the very best way to do it would be to extend the yellow light and extend the red light in the other direction so that cars aren't, aren't entering that intersection at the same time. You're talking about clearance cycle. Exactly. Right. And Phoenix tries to uh, modify that uh, when, when it's necessary and when it's appropriate. Um, we can only do so much, though, with the technology that we have, and we can only do so much by lengthening those cycles. Kerry Wilcox, I appreciate you coming on because, uh, you know, when I called you today, I said, are you the guy pushing for this? And you said, yes, I am. So I give you credit for uh, candor. Kerry, thank you. You're welcome. Appreciate it. Get my